Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Sunday and it is glorious outside. I'm excited for a fun day. Today's video is sponsored by the dirty puppy that rolled in the mud. I don't know if you There was a mud puddle too. Yeah, there was one mud puddle out there and she decided to do a rollover for Ruby. Is that the what she did? The one puddle. She was like, oh my god, don't kill me. The one and only puddle. She looks guilty. She looks guilty. I have noticed that she does love puddles. Uh, when I was walking here one day, I had to wash her feet because she ran in the mud when I was when I was taking care of her. I was like, oh no, Gabby's gonna kill me. But yeah, now she is turned into a muddy puppy. Riding. Who are you riding? Finn. Finn, are you excited? I want to ride in bareback so I can do bear racing. I feel like Gab Sophie's nervous to ride in the saddle and I don't know why. No, I are you... want to ride bareback so I can do bareback with bear racing. Okay, you can do that after you ride in the saddle. Okay? Do you not like your saddle? What's making you not feel confident in the saddle? Right. You look taller today. You kind of don't match. Whatever. Yeah, when you're riding, you got to do what you got to do. How was she? She didn't like the tub. You didn't like the tub? You didn't, you're a water dog. You better be a water dog. She didn't care about the water. She just doesn't like the tub. She's a mud dog. She is a mud dog. One time I was walking her and she ran and wanted to roll in the mud. So I think it's because it's nice and cool. So how, so you gave your baby your first bath. Baby's first bath. I didn't hear her crying. Oh, she did for a second. I had to hold her in the tub. Yeah, she'll get used to it. Remember, she's never been in the bath before. So today I have a ton of things that I want to do. Today is actually the summer day that I had planned for the entire weekend. Today is actually warm outside and amazing. Um, today we have to see if Storm is able to go back into the field. I hope he is. I feel so bad for him. And the girls need to ride. It's been a couple of days and our horses need exercising. So those are all on the top of my list as well as a hundred other little projects I have planned. Keep thinking it's going to be summer. I wore short sleeves. Yeah, it's still cold. <laughs> like, what the heck, Laura? Chilly. Anyway, this morning, this morning, oh, this morning, we are gonna check storm. It may not feel super warm like summer, but it smells like summer. I love summer. Oh damn, I've been feeling something for Cool. Oh man, I think I might be going crazy. Cause all I really, really want is to be with you. And I'm like, I'm saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing alright, I'm doing just fine. bad just leaving him in a stall for days and days like it just like he just wants look at him he's like I want my friends yeah I just want to feel if there's any heat somebody somebody was saying how Laura in the comments Laura feels the horse and is looking at him but she doesn't actually know what she's looking at and I was laughing my head off because that's so true they said it nicer than that but look at what's happening here I feel like laughing because you think you know. Fake <laughs> like, okay, it till well, you make I'm it. Feel him because I don't trust the person who knows him more than me. 
No, I'm just feeling, just because if Fiona asked me, I need to know what to tell her. And there's no heat anywhere. Let's look at the bottom of his foot again. Like, you never know. I like to look so that I can see when things are different. Drop. I don't know what to do about you. I don't want to leave you sitting in a in a in That's a. Why we got his energy. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good idea, but sometimes they do look a little off too when they're stiff from being in a stall for four days. Look, he could write in the sand. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm still waiting to hear back from Fiona. I'm gonna ask her if we can leave him out here in this arena because at least he can move around a bit. Yeah, he's been going down to the end and running back. Oh, well, that's not good. Don't run. That's well, not the whole without point. without me telling him to. Yeah, don't run. He's like, let me out of my stall. He's such a stoic horse, though. Shows emotions. That's like Gabby, kind of. Anyways, I forgot to tell you guys what the surprise was. Our country is opening sooner than expected. Like, they were expecting to stay in quarantine for a really, really long time. But yeah, we're opening tomorrow. We're opening up again tomorrow. There's still gonna be lots of rules. Uh, social distancing is gonna still be in effect. Basically the verdict is that he's still improving. These things take time whenever they have like a sprained ankle or whatever, just like with us, it takes time. It's been four days. So where she said that he's feeling fresh, you can tell obviously. We're gonna, he's like, I'm not fresh. Don't call me fresh. Um, so he's going to stay. We're gonna let him be in here, like in the indoor, outdoor here, because there's no horses like that he has to be running after. He can just kind of take it easy like we did with Stella when we first brought her, her home. Um, so he's just gonna take it easy in here, but at least he's gonna get out of his stall for the daytime. And we're gonna cold hose him still. We're gonna continue that. And we're gonna take him for a little bit of hand walking just so that he's getting exercise because you don't wanna keep them in a stall too long. The girls will continue to stay in during the day and then we'll go out at night like normal. Do you guys remember last year I felt so much more stuck? Like we didn't have, we couldn't change things around too much. Like we didn't have the big fields. We didn't have places to put horses when we had a situation like this. I'm so super grateful that we can alternate the boys and the girls in and out and we have the back field like, and the front field. Like I feel so much better. I can't imagine what's gonna happen next year. I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around, because it matters, matters, dreaming of your kisses, in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around, because it All right, Stormy Boy, your hay's out there. He just wants to be able to see his friends. Like, he doesn't care about those ponies. He cares about his friends. Don't try and charge the fence. Don't try and jump it. It's pretty tall. He's sad.
They're doing okay without you, Stormy. They're okay. They want you too. He's out there shaking his head. It's like there's flies. I don't see a single fly. We have all the fly masks ready to go. Waiting and ready to go. I should get them out. It's still so early in our season, in our spring season, that there are really no flies yet. I don't know why he's shaking his head. Anyway, I feel better him being outside. Feed them to the chicken. Look at all. There's even more in there, I know. So, our, these chickens might not be such in love with these worms, but um, the other chickens would have eaten them in like two seconds. Okay, so, last time I was in here, I put them in the food bowl. What if they go crawling in their food? So Sophie put them in the food bowl. We'll see if they go after them. I don't think they're going after them. Oh, wait, here comes one. Oh. He's looking, but he ran away. Poor Storm, all by himself. Hey, handsome. He's like, yes, a friend. I can't help feeling he's depressed. Are you depressed? Hey, handsome. I promise, a couple more days maybe and you'll be okay. Hello, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're all alone. Isn't that so, so sad though? Like, that makes me so sad. Like, he's just here all by himself. I'll give him a good brush. I'm gonna do that right now. So, I finished the garden. So, Gabby had a break, watched some TV. Sophie had a break, it's Sunday, you know. Sophie played online, and now they're gonna come down and ride. It's a little bit drier out today. The girls are gonna try and ride in the outdoor arena. Hopefully that will work. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. And I see something shimmering in your eyes. And they say if you want a glimpse, the future you need space. We're out by the arena just to see if I should be cutting the grass already and it looks like I should because it's pretty long. Check it out. Nice grass though. But I think I should cut it. Just to eat. Yeah, you can ride. Mm -hmm. Why? Don't go there where it's muddy. So Storm literally stood there while I groomed his entire body and cleaned his sheath. Like just stood still and let me do everything. Like that is what a good horse he is. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but he is so well trained. Like, get out of my way. I know, thanks for me training. Thanks to everybody in his life, including you. Me, All right, so unfortunately we had some roll in. You guys have been living it up since the boss has been away, huh? Did you guys see a different look in Chino's eye now from when we first got him? Do you guys see it? That's why I always showed his eye before because he always looked so scared. He still looks kind of, I don't know, he still looks, he still has a funny look, but he's getting better. Finn's chunky. Uh oh. He's a chunky baby. No, he's okay. He's chunky. No, he's okay. All right, I'm gonna help you guys because. You I can help Gabby. Look All at right. her horse. Yeah, you look at do the other yeah, side. take a look at this horse's butt. I think it might be fly season. They are um, sweat scrapers, and um, you know the stuff that you put on like after the bath, where you take the water off. That's what we call sweat scrapers. Oh my god, get mud off too, like dust. You do that after your horse is wet, and it works very well. Or just scrape the mud off of their hooves. That's why. I'm really hot, actually. So fun fact about those, they are yeah, fun for fact. water too. Life hack. Okay guys. Get moving. Sophie says she's gonna take out Finney's braids, but look at this boy. I mean, that is a pretty muddy butt too. 
Look at that shoulder. Look at you. He's like, get these braids off of me. You take this one. Gets dust and hair off too. See, look. So if and you... then you could brush it off. Cool. Yeah. Nothing better than a nice grooming boy. So I am trying to get finished here, but Gabby keeps showing me cool things. Okay, show them this. So she's got the magic brush. Watch, look at that's just dirt. It actually gets the dirt off their body. Um, if you get a magic brush with this thing on it, you can put treats or elastics in there. Oh, that's such a Small good thing too. Yeah. Like a hairnet. Guys, you came to the hack family. We got all the hacks now. There was a time we knew nothing, and now we know hacks. Blade too. Yeah, like, careful, he's... See? There's more here to show you. Storm's way back there watching. One thing about Storm is that he hates the sun. So he's loving the arena right now. Look at now. that! Holy heck. Mom, there are so many flies out in the field. I prefer this glove. That's my favorite. So the trouble is today that uh, Finn got to choose his saddle pad and his ear bonnet, and it went against Gabby Sophie's color. Don't be doing that. Wow. Stop chewing, now you're right. These braids are expensive. Chino, they're gonna get them out of here. Oh. Um, but he's also gonna be wearing boots today. The girls wanted to ride outside today, but Sam went back there and cut all the grass, and he said that the ground is still too wet for riding. So, it's indoor for us. Chino, stop chewing the reins. Oh, they're expensive. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stop, dude. See, nobody's pulling on the, on the bit at all and he likes to chew it, like that's what he likes to do. See? See, nobody's doing anything to the bit. He's just chewing it, yeah. Yeah, that's just him. Cantered a little with the help of her big sister who is always there to support I'm, her. I'm more confident with trainers. Yeah, so she's working through some fears and that's okay. And she's working on building up her her her, her belief in Finn again, right? Finn knows that I'm scared so he um, isn't as crazy. No, I think he likes how you ride him. Because I don't pull on his mouth a lot? I don't think you do pull on his mouth a lot. I think you're kind to him. The amount of work that we got done today on our little farm was amazing. Sam would cut the grass in the arena, in the outdoor arena. They had a lot of poop picking in the boys' field today. Sam is working on our poop pile. I cleaned out the garden. We got so many amazing things done today. I find myself really thinking about Stella a lot today. And I don't know if it's because it's nice out and I could like ride her or if I'm just missing this time with her. But I realized something super important. I was talking to a friend the other day and I was telling her how like so many people think like, wow, you just got past her so so easily. And I think I really haven't got past her at all. Like I ha cannot watch videos of her. I can't think about her, I can't talk about her. Like I don't go there in my brain. But what I realized is this, even though I wish that I could see her again, like just one more time, I wish I could see her again, I can, because I have so much footage and so many videos of her. I can go back and relive all the amazing that was Stella in our life. I don't know if I'm ready yet, but I think I'm starting to get ready. Like, 
I've been really craving watching her videos just so I can see her again. So, for any of you guys out there that are still struggling through the death of a pet, and you think that I'm doing so super well and just getting over it easily, I, I'm not. I'm ignoring the whole situation. That's what I do best. But, I think a time is coming where I am getting ready to watch her videos and I just take comfort in the fact that I will see her again because I can visit her anytime I want through our videos and through all your edits and and I'm super grateful for that. I hope you guys had an amazing Sunday. We sure did. Sam is home again tomorrow and I'm hoping to do a few more things, exciting things around our farm and I'm excited to get back into living now that we're reopening our economy. See you guys later.